Hello and welcome to Cryptocurrency for Beginners and this is a beginner's tutorial on how to use CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko and what their actual purpose is. We're gonna find out in this video but hey if this is your first time here my name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news reviews, demos, interviews and blockchain games reviews so please make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications to be made aware of when I upload the next video that may interest you so that you don't miss out but let's not not waste any time and get right in so you may be wondering what is coin market cap why was everybody talking about that and maybe you have heard of it when you've heard the name of bitcoin okay which is the top cryptocurrency out there and coin market cap is usually associated with it in some way shape or form because coin market cap is a website where you can find all the different information you need for cryptocurrency markets such as market cap prices uh, changes in price in the last 24 hours and so on so things like that and also volumes on exchanges so we're gonna be looking at that just so you can see what it's all about and I'll explain it to you in a simple way so the links are in the description by the way both to coin market cap and coin gecko if you want to access them and basically follow what I'm doing but here we can see a list of all the different cryptocurrencies by market cap okay so they are older ordered by market cap and as we can see Bitcoin is number one Okay, because it has the highest market cap. We've got the price, we've got the volume in the last 24 hours and you may be asking yourself, what is this volume for? Well, this is the average volume across all the different exchanges where you can trade Bitcoin. Then there's the circulating supply of the cryptocurrency of Bitcoin, so that's 17.96 million. And the change in the last 24 hours means the change in price across all the different exchanges. Again, this is an average. So this price could actually change very, very rapidly. And it does not guarantee that you could actually get in at this price if you are to buy it because different exchanges have different prices uh, for a specific cryptocurrency. And here we can see the price graph in the last seven days. It shows you how it looks here. And as you can see, it's very volatile. Okay, all cryptocurrencies are volatile. But let's actually look at Bitcoin here. So by clicking on it, we can get a bit more information. So here we can see uh, that it's down 0.68%. This is the current price. This is the market cap, like I was saying, and the volume which is being traded, the circulating supply, and the max supply is 21 million. So you cannot have more than 21 million Bitcoins. The, uh, the type of coin, right? So it is a coin, right? There, there, there is a difference. And we're gonna be looking at that when I, when I take a look at another cryptocurrency. Uh, which is a coin and a token, right? There is a difference between the two, but with Bitcoin, it's just a coin, right? It's just a coin on its own blockchain, on the Bitcoin blockchain, and it's a mineable coin, okay? So we'll look at mining uh, mining and other sort of information related to mineable coins in another beginner's tutorial because there's no point of filling in too much information in one video. Uh, so if we go to the markets here, we can see all the different exchanges where you can buy Bitcoin from or sell if you have it, right? So all of these different exchanges and based on volume here, right? You can see they're all ordered based on volume. Now you need to be very careful as a beginner. A lot of these exchanges may seem like, okay, maybe this one, right? BTC or BIKI or Bitforex, they may be some big exchanges. You do need to be very careful, okay, because a lot of these exchanges are scams and they have fake volume. So you may be wondering, how do I know which is a trust, trusted exchange, right? Because when people are new in cryptocurrency, they don't know. I didn't know either which were the big exchanges at the time, right? So you just got to go by reputation, by listening to other people, talking to other people which are in the space, and then you kind of get a feel of it and you start to know, you start to, to basically know which exchanges you can avoid and which exchanges you can actually use. So personally, again, this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Binance, but personally, I recommend Binance for trading because it is a trusted exchange. Uh, they're very, very secure. They've only been hacked once. And even though they've been hacked, they have actually refunded all the users that got hacked on there. Okay, so it is a trusted exchange. Um, then you've got uh, other exchanges like for example Coinbase which is a very big exchange but it cannot be used in all the different countries. It is restricted to countries. Something like Hobby Global also has a good reputation. Um, other ones like Bibux also has a good reputation. So quite a lot of these have good reputations like Coinbase Pro like I was saying. Uh, Bitstamp is also a good exchange. Bithump has a very good reputation in Korea. But again, a lot of these exchanges are country specific as well or region specific, like maybe to Asia, some to Europe. Upbit again is the biggest exchange in Korea. Uh, so places like that. So these are kind of trusted exchanges, but I do recommend Binance. And then there's Binance US now as well for uh, US people. 
if they're wondering how they can actually trade right cryptocurrencies in the first place so there's a humongous list here like i said you may be wondering which one to use and you may be even looking at the top ones because you're thinking okay if this has the highest volume then this is the most trusted well not necessarily because a lot of this volume can also be also be fake and we will be covering fake volume in a separate beginners tutorial hence why i'm saying don't forget to subscribe uh, but there's the social section here as well okay so with every cryptocurrency and and maybe bitcoin is not the best one as an example because it doesn't have twitter here it has a reddit bitcoin reddit you can basically get information from the community and if we're talking about general cryptocurrency projects you get information from the teams in the social section and you can even join their twitter page or reddit to be kept up to date with all the different updates there's the tool section as well for the website widget ratings and also historical data so if we look at historical data here and you can actually select the, the range of time that you want to check the data for so this is between the 2nd of september and the 2nd of october of 2019 so here we can see the different prices here the highest price the lowest price of the day and so on the closing price uh, well close at the end of the day basically because it is calculated in a 24-hour period but cryptocurrency never sleeps it's not like stocks where they close the market at a specific time with cryptocurrency it's 24 7 tradable it doesn't matter where you're from across the world you can trade it non-stop so yeah this is pretty much how it is here then there's the statistics and so on so let's have a look at another coin before we move on to coin gecko which is another website and to kind of explain the difference so let's have a look at NEO. Now I cover a lot of information on NEO on my channel. So NEO is a good example to look at here. So here we can see the market cap of NEO, 530 million, the 24 hour trading volume, the circulating supply is 70.5 million, and the total supply is 100 million NEO. And also there's a max supply, which is also 100 million. So there cannot be any more NEOs than that. And again, it is a coin, but it's not mineable, okay? Because it is of a different type of consensus. And we'll be talking about consensus too in separate beginner tutorial videos to kind of explain that to you. And this is a graph here of the different price targets uh, that it had and that it reached. So we can see here back in April, April 2017 it traded at like 19 cents and then we had a bull run at the beginning of 2018 end of 2017 as you can see the price was trading at 160 130 and then even 160 here we go on the 15th of January 161 dollars so a humongous increase in price so cryptocurrencies are very volatile and also very dangerous okay uh, especially if you're new because you may be wondering well how can I actually make money with cryptocurrencies well it's, it is a risky investment you need to do your due diligence so it's uh, it's very risky and it's not for everyone right now everyone can stomach a drop a 20% drop in 24 hours right it's not for everyone but basically if we go to markets here we can see all the different exchanges where you can trade NEO and again Binance is one of them here like I was saying it is one of the trusted ones uh, there's Huobi Global again and also Qcoin is a good exchange too. Uh, Bittrex is also a good exchange. So here's Qcoin here. I also recommend this. And again, you can find links in the description for the referral. If you're interested in setting up a, an account on Binance, it will really help. Or also on Qcoin simply because uh, I have been using those exchanges personally. And uh, yeah, basically it tells you the 24 hour volume and so on. And also the prices as you can see here. And so on but if we go to the social section of the difference between bitcoin and neo is that neo is actually created by a team right so everyone knows who the team is it's visible on their website and again the website can be accessed by going here and as you can see the rank in terms of market cap it is ranked 20th so you go to the website it takes you straight to the website you can get a lot of information on that and i've done a review on neo by the way if you're interested to find out more uh, but there's the source code here right which takes you to their github page where you can see the open source code what programming languages it was developed in and things like that and how many act active contributors uh, are cont contributing to the code and so on so yeah basically these are all the tweets that they've got here and you can see some of these tweets are really new like nine hours ago uh, posted on the first of october and so on so things like that right this is where you can see more information about a project this is where you can get an idea about it right and then on reddit as well if you want to check certain information if you want to be kept up to date 
you need to join this and also telegram channels right you normally join their telegram channel which you can get from their website if you're interested in a specific project and this is pretty much how you're up to date with information because on their telegram page they normally update the community again neo didn't have an official telegram channel until recently they've recently opened one but uh, there are some projects that don't have official ones. They are community-based Telegram channels, so you need to be very careful with those. There can be scammy ones out there as well, which can steal your money if you're not careful, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, so just be very careful with that and make sure that it is an official one and it is kind of hard to tell if you're not sure. But when you're unsure, always ask, okay? People are happy to help you, especially on the Reddit page. The community is always happy to help. And if you get a few replies then and they all say the same thing, it should be pretty much legit not guaranteed but pretty much right so yeah this is pretty much what it is here and again you can even change the 24 hour price target so you can see which were the biggest gainers this is up 6.9 percent in the last 24 hours and the biggest losers so this is kind of to show you how volatile cryptocurrency is in the in the, in the sense that in the last 24 hours there can be a growth of six percent for some and a drop of nine percent for others so yeah that's pretty much it and the other thing is that the top 100 coins are shown but if you want to see all the coins you can just click on view all here on the top right hand corner and it lists all the different cryptocurrencies right all the different cryptocurrencies and i actually wanted to talk about a specific one to kind of show you so let's look at waves for example waves is also an exchange but also a cryptocurrency actually not waves let's look at another one sorry i wanted to check another just to give you an example so let's look at which one, which one. Let's look at Engine Coin. Okay, so Engine Coin is actually a token on one of the other blockchains. Okay, so it doesn't, it's not running on its own blockchain, right? So this is the difference here, as you can see, token. Okay, and in the other ones we saw coin. So this is the difference. A token means that it's using an existing blockchain. It doesn't have its own blockchain. And in this case, I know that it is the Ethereum blockchain. I'm not sure how you can actually tell from CoinMarketCap. I don't believe there is a way. Uh, but if you go to their website, you can get information on that. And they basically tell you that we are on the Ethereum blockchain. So hence why you need to be checking the website for this kind of information. But uh, yeah, CoinMarketCap pretty much tells you what it is, right? So it's a coin, it's mineable. And on this blockchain, there are many tokens, many projects which have developed on the Ethereum blockchain. And that's why they are called tokens, crypto tokens. So that's that about coin market cap pretty straightforward but not all the coins that exist out there or tokens a lot of them can be scammy are on coin market cap because they need to meet certain criteria certain conditions hence why we've got this other cryptocurrency uh, information exchange here and kind of like um, portfolio information trading information graph and kind of things like that and it's called coin gecko okay so this is again top 100 coins by market capitalization it has all the different information and graphs uh, on the different cryptocurrencies out there but we've got 5787 in this one at the moment and 383 exchanges listed so a lot of these exchanges or coins aren't even listed on coin market cap because they don't meet the criteria but coin gecko are happy to list them uh, and these two are actually the two biggest places when it terms of the two biggest websites uh, for checking information on cryptocurrencies so here if we go to for example to um, where should we go let's go to the coins explore all coins and if we go by market cap and we want to go to less than 100,000 we can see all these really really small ones right so when we order by that we can see some of these which are very very small like 99,000 market cap right that's very small in cryptocurrency so a lot of these many people haven't even heard of them a lot of them can be scammy as well you need to be very careful uh, when looking at cryptocurrencies to invest in normally people look at the top 10 but then once you get more experience you start to understand uh, more about this and you kind of know where to look what to look out for and things like that so again i'll be trying to cover as much information to help you as possible in my beginner tutorials but this is pretty much how it is here so as we can see let's actually go back here just to have a look at uh, bitcoin again okay so we can go to bitcoin and it does look a little bit different okay compared to coin market cap 
but it tells you what uh, what information you can get here you, there's the website bitcointalk.org facebook twitter the github page again information on the market cap trading volume and so on right so you can get all these kind of information just like we could see on coin market cap except for exchanges it looks a bit different here so there's another tab you can even get a mining calculator so there's some extra information here when it comes to coin gecko compared to coin market cap but both websites are good it's just you can get more coins on this more information on the coins uh, that are out there and of course they've listed 5787 so quite a lot of them out there right a lot of them the question is how many will actually survive right so that's a big question and we'll be talking about that in other videos but uh, yes this is pretty much it for the beginners tutorial let me know what you think leave a comment below if you have any sort of questions if you're not sure how to use coin market cap what sort of information are you looking for which doubts do you have uh, what would you have liked me to cover when looking at coin market cap what sort of questions or doubts did you have things like that right just, just let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer take care and i'll see you in my next video have a lovely day bye bye